Now let us start doing an example tutorial for your assignment. I have started a project, a GUI project on C++ first using the manual method, not the method using the template by the professor from Germany. And I'm not going to show the detailed step in creating this Windows form. You have to figure that out using the videos that we have created before. And I named my project as Cool Calc. Of course, it stands for Cool Calculator. For your assignment, please use some commercial name or professional name. Don't use your metric number. Don't use something like assignment one or assignment two or C++ project, something like that, that sounds like a class assignment. Make your project or name your project so that it looks like a real professional program that you can sell. All right. So for the first part of this tutorial, let us show how to put tab control in the Windows form. The reason why we are going to use tab control is because your assignment is going to be having four parts. The first part is the calculator. Second part is a calculation of a given, a randomly given mathematical equation to you so that you create a graph for it. Third part is a task for you to calculate values of or result of certain calculation of a mathematical function. And the last one, the first part is calculation based on a structure or multi-dimensional entity or physical entity. That one you can see the detail in our discussion about the instruction document. So before we put tab control, let us put the proper caption to reflect the name of this project. So I don't want my form, I want the name of my project or perhaps the full name, cool calculator. And based on the suggested layout in the instruction, perhaps we can stretch a little bit the dimension of uh, this calculator horizontally. Then look for tab control. I think it's not under common control, it's under containers. Yes, this is it. Tab control. Drag it in. So this is tab control. The control or a widget that you can add or remove tabs so that you can put many, many functions on one single window. So let us align this properly. And if it doesn't touch the border and you want the tab to touch the border, you can use arrow key on your keyboard. Okay, align it nicely. We are all engineers here. So the layout, uh, the user interface layout has to be perfect. All right, run it. So we have our tab, but nothing's there yet. Then to name the tab, you have to click on the tab first and then make sure the tab is highlighted, then click inside, if I'm not wrong. Then you will see the text will reflect or will show the name of the tab given. So I want this one to be calculator and the second tab 
click the tab and then click the area in the tab change tab 2 to graph and then we need to add more tab because we want to do all four parts so click outside I guess and you click on this very small black triangle click on it then there will be a menu to add tab tab 3 add one more if you want to remove you can remove then let me add again that's it tab 3 is let's say uh, I want to show on Trigo and for tab 4 is the multi-dimensional calculation let's say I want to show something on vector all right save it run okay all the tabs are there and let me show you something if you maximize this window the tab will not follow or the tab will not be automatically maximized together with the window and even if we resize the window the tab does not follow the size of the window automatically so one way to solve this is of course you have to programmatically resize the tab but that will be a little bit complicated at your level my suggestion is that we disable the resizing and the maximization of the window okay so this is the property of the form or the window the property of the form that we need to enable some of it sorry disable some of the property so to disable max maximize This is the property maximize box. Now it is true. Choose false. So we shouldn't be able to maximize anymore. Save. Run it. There, the maximize button is disabled. But we still can minimize, of course. And of course, we still can close, but we still can resize. Then to disable resizing is make sure you select the form is the is the type of form border or form border style. It is sizable. Choose. I think the best one is fixed single. You can explore what are the differences or the effect that each of these options give to your window. But I'm going for fixed single. Save again. Run again. Okay. The rest are the same. Minimize, maximize, still the same. But can we resize it? No. Nope. We are not able to get that horizontal arrow mouse pointer or vertical here or diagonal here. We cannot resize the window anymore. So this is what we want. The purpose of trying or the purpose of choosing this kind of interface is so that the layout doesn't deteriorate when the user resize our window. So we just disable the resizing then next would be the first part of the project which is to create a calculator here that will be in our second part of this tutorial